what interesting stories and amazing stories uh, and uh, i think the day would be full of all those because they say that every uh, life is a story i mean we, i i can get stories from all of you i can tell my story but stories from entrepreneurs and that too uh, entrepreneurs below 30 around 30 youngsters who have so much to look ahead it would be wonderful i think uh, so i've got a great panel here uh, you can see uh, them. so i would request everyone of these young mavericks to introduce themselves and then take things forward thanks wait so uh, uh very glad to be here again uh, i'm kushang one co-founder and ceo of supply note uh I am a IIT Kanpur graduate. Started my journey back in 2015, straight out of college. Uh, so, we at Supply Note are uh, changing the way restaurants procure. We help them automate their supply chains. We are a huge country of about seven odd million restaurants, thriving, growing, but still most of it is procuring in an offline manner. That's what we are changing bit by bit. We already empower about five thousand supply chains across the country. We have customers. uh spread across 83 cities uh in the country and now we have expanded outside india we have customers in singapore uae uk uh, and taking uh, more nations in our customer domain uh we are very very uh, we feel very empowered when we hear a customer story where we have really helped a restaurant business grow one more outlet one more uh, location uh, and that's where we take a lot of pride in we work with a lot of uh, interesting brands uh, some of them uh, those are household names now naturals biryani by kilo water burgers are few of them uh, and looking forward to the exciting uh, session and share my journey more with you guys thanks hi everyone i'm bhavik uh, i am from bombay and i have done academics from narsi munji and isb um, i've built different businesses uh, in technology in the last 9 odd years Uh, an edtech business uh, luxury e-commerce venture uh, uh, logistics aggregator and uh, currently running a jewelry logistics company which does high value cargo logistics diamonds jewelry bullion luxury products in over 10000 pin codes 130 countries uh, and glad to be here and excited to for the looking forward to the conversation thanks Hi everyone I'm Krishna uh, the founder of Lloyds Luxuries we have the master franchise for a men's grooming brand called Truefit and Hill uh, we started in 2015 when there was no other men's grooming brands and we still are the only premium services provider for men's grooming uh, currently we have 30 locations spread across 15 plus cities and uh, we service almost 3 3 three lakh services a year and uh, we retail over 30000 products a year as of now uh we're looking to grow this into a very large company across the country and uh happy to share uh, our experiences yeah hello everyone uh, myself ashay i'm the co-founder and ceo of prepinsta we are an edtech platform that helps engineering students with their upskilling and college placement uh we started back in 2018 we realized that there is a huge gap in between uh the level of understanding and skill for tier 2 and tier 3 city students specifically in india and they do not get the actual uh adequate information that is given to other premium colleges in india they do not get the same level of um scope and also you know even the understanding on how it is to prepare uh parents spend tons and tons of money for their college and after fourth year the students are like w- without any idea like what should i do next so i think we are trying to fill that gap and uh, every month we cater to one 1.5 million students on our platform and we the aim is very simple we want to uh, reduce the skill gap among engineering students and i have to say there are a lot of very talented engineer students who are in tier 2 and tier 3 con- uh, cities but it's just that they need the adequate and correct information so that they can actually reach out to that level we also make sure that uh, they can re- take our products on it's not a high cart value so that everybody is able to read everybody is able to understand and prepare very well so i think democratizing the whole edtech space that is what we are planning to do so and thank you wait sir for the amazing session no no uh, but, so but, 
these are mavericks sitting here uh, uh why i say because uh, they are building real businesses three of them are uh, bootstrap and or or they have not raised external funding uh the champion that side <laughs> <laughs> they have raised 10 million dollars by the way so we were talking about raising not raising so uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, uh uh opinions about that so i we were having a chat outside and i told them i'll ask you a trick question okay so <laughs> the uh, topic of this session is mavericks the next gen mavericks so when we were growing up the only maverick we knew was tom cruise in top gun yeah <laughs> so i just want to ask you all of you do you have a maverick in mind when you started or do you really uh, idealize any maverick in real life starting with yeah so i also have a maverick t-shirt back home but i saw it recently the new maybe which which came so yeah i mean like uh, when i was growing up for us uh, dreams were different uh, it evolved i think evolve evol- i talk a lot about evolution right i it it was never a eureka moment for us right uh, the idea of entrepreneurship uh, i give that credit to the iit kanpur campus i was lucky enough to grow uh, in a in an environment where i saw a lot of uh, unicorn founders also now the term was not there yet right it was more startups and building credible businesses Uh, so in my third year, I met the founders of Inmobi, uh, Navin Tiwari and Abhay Sing, uh, Abhay Singhal. They were there in the campus, and that was a eureka moment for us. And during that point only, uh, I met uh, uh, you know founders of ShareChat. I mean, like they are my batchmates actually. Angushi is a batchmate. So people like these, right? Even my younger brother runs a startup called uh, Urban Health, and uh, it's a uh it's one of the leading startups in that space so so my sibling my uh surrounding all this has inspired there is one not one maverick in my life but it's it's the it's the tribe i think which in so maverick uh, i think uh, in my opinion is a tribe uh every one of us inspire each other i was uh, hearing krishna's story and what his family they have three listed businesses it inspires you right so all of this uh, i think uh, so far has been inspiring and looking forward to more inspiration um so for me from an inspiration standpoint i think uh, the desire to want to do something great uh, started early because uh, for me i've been going to office since i was 5 and it was both my parents uh, were working and then from school they would pick me up and then i've basically grown up in office so i've seen and literally i've i've understood processes ground up unknowingly uh, and and my first venture a uh, wide study which was an edtech venture was at age 17 and thereafter uh, so on so so there is a there's a deep desire but if uh, a mentor is or or a person i look up to since the beginning of time for me was ratan tata which the only thing that i could not understand is this individual has 200 businesses a dozen listed businesses and each company is growing by itself what is it that he does to make such a large conglomerate operate so well and grow so fast and that was the fundamental question that made me go on a very deep uh, questioning journey uh, almost a soul searching uh, and and eventually over time with execution i i realized how it, it gets done and hence the current form of business uh, but that's the the inspiration uh, for me it might sound a little cheesy but uh, it's my dad since i uh since i was growing up he started his first company when he was 17 or he joined when he was 17 he left his exams to fulfill an order for 10 lakhs in uh, in delhi from bombay and since then he started his journey till now he's almost 70 but his thirst for starting new things running around the world uh finding new technologies searching for profitability at every rupee uh he started and ran his steel company so for him every rupee was a large saving so understanding profitability understanding growth understanding uh how to create a business from the ground up started from him and uh if he can do it at 70 i'm pretty sure i can do a lot more at this age Yeah, so you already took the cheesy line, so I cannot use that anymore. Uh, 
uh, so yeah so i think for me right so i am not actually from a business background uh, my family they are my dad is a government officer my mom is a housewife we are from a very simple uh, conservative family i think education has always been a part of my family for a really long long time my nana is a principal of a school uh, in a, in madhya pradesh and i think education has been very core values in our family for my dad and everybody so i think education was something that always stuck with me uh but when i say uh when you say about uh, mavericks and inspirations i don't think it comes from one person for me personally i think more or it more or less comes from multiple people and they have done so great things being my nana shivkumar tiwari he is amazing him uh beni bansal sachin bansal amazing things that they have built uh and uh, mr Abhim- abhimanyu from scaler uh all of these people i think give you small small amazing uh you know personality traits that you develop from them you learn from their teachings and what they have done in, in their experience you read them so i think it's a combination of multiple people for me rather than one single maverick i think great uh so uh, uh you know uh, i don't know whether i mentioned the dictionary meaning of maverick it says an unorthodox or independent minded person so i think uh, these guys are unorthodox people and all entrepreneurs are unto- unorthodox and uh, hats off to you guys who are there in the room hats off to these guys and uh, i wish and uh, pray that you also become mavericks for the next generation coming in so moving on uh, to the uh, real topic of the uh, uh uh discussion is that uh, cracking the code for entrepreneurial success so backstage we were talking about this and uh, i said that you know uh, this is what if we can uh, tell uh, the uh, room audience in the room that you know what worked for you what what was success uh, and very brilliantly uh, sir talked about the uh, uh, rules of success and why certain things succeeded so success is a very uh, strange uh, being you know so i think we try and decode that uh, so uh, starting with and 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 let me tell you these are different people in the sense that uh bhavik is a solo solo runner uh kushang has four classmates as his founders co-founders uh krishna is again you know uh, again solo but yes he has Uh, support from his dad apparently and uh, he has two three founders so i mean different backgrounds different setups but succeeding in their own ways so i would just want to start kushang so i think uh, for me what we really got right uh, very early on uh, was the co-founding team itself i think uh, that's that's one of the first thing so as i said for us what uh, really took us to be where we are cracking the problem cracking the gtm cracking uh, the scale part of things raising money uh, i think first three rounds we just raised money on team really right i mean like uh, we were still figuring out uh, i can say that for sure right uh, so uh, i was lucky enough uh, to meet uh, abhishek nitin who are my batchmates harshit who is an immediate junior uh, shared 11 years with them now we are more than friends now of course uh so and and that too in the building years right so while you enter college you are about 18 19 and now we are towards the last end of the 20s right so uh so that time uh, that togetherness that mind space uh that has really helped us right uh, as a team and then as we grew uh, since we understood the importance of teammates uh, we have spent a lot of time identifying the right people uh so we are still a young organization although we have worked in the market for almost 7 years so almost every food business in the country knows us uh, uh we have worked with small businesses large businesses uh so we have we have made sure uh, that the people who come with us stay with us so uh, an average uh you know staying period with us has been about 4 5 years i mean like there are people who have spent more than 5 years we were just making our policies around you know uh, when to give us a sabbatical and we were con- contemplating on 3 years or 5 years and it said ki 5 years to ho chuka hai so it has to be 5 right so uh, 
so we really thrive that we have we have been able to grow a young culture we have grew older literally in the last 7 years together uh, as a as a group of people and we want to further create that you know and you rightly mentioned ratan tata what he has done right so one thing to learn from is from him is to invest in people right and that's what uh, we are trying to do uh, at our space as well and that that i think is the biggest story for us right and we are still learning from them and hearing customer voices is the second one i would say right and then the comes the execution part which is pretty much the template for everyone so so that's that's our secret i would say uh, but yeah wonderful uh, so let me just give you an insight uh, these guys uh, pivoted uh, uh, one time two time yeah, ideally one time only but okay. two so there was a pivot you only pivot when you fail okay so we'll talk about that also so the the uh, takeaway is team team and people so uh, and and as everyone uh, here would know that uh, either you're bootstrap or you raise funds but when you raise funds at an idea stage or very early stage you haven't even got your mvp or you've got your mvp but you have not got the product market fit then what happens is only the team gets funded okay the entrepreneur or the team so that's very very critical second you said customer feedback which is very important so and third you said execution so execution is the key the gold and the diamond and the you know elixir of life and business life lies in execution so okay bavik thank you so for us uh, among a bunch of things that haven't worked uh, which are far greater than the ones which have uh, what has clearly worked consistently is anything that enhances trust so the two things that we have as a company now made sure that each and every one of us uh, believes and executes with is we do whatever we say we will do and we don't do whatever we say we won't do and this very simple thing reinforces trust and that's all that matters in the long run you know there's going to be different companies which come and burn money to acquire customers there's going to be all types of pressures uh, but as long as we customers trust uh, our brand we are here to stay um, which has been one very uh, very strong learning uh, and and another thing for us has been the job of a leader while we might not enjoy it uh, is to continuously communicate uh, we make our you know values document we make all the uh, documents public and then sort of go out and hope that in our okr meetups we have decided what is to be done but unless and until we go in and keep saying the same thing again and again for us it's the same thing but for each person hearing it's uh, it's almost a, a a new time every time so so important to do that boring job of continuously communicating what we know uh, because that's all that matters for the team to have guidance on on what we are all setting to execute um, otherwise it's all only on paper so two high level aspects that have worked and and we continue to invest in great so one is commitment second trust trust uh, things things yes. that enhance trust, trust comes from uh, walking the talk what was the second one and continuously communicating yes. this is not uh, not letting a single day go by without reinforcing the same values the same uh, you know goals uh, the mission uh, re re yes i i get it so 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 two two uh, key takeaways from here uh, uh, ramayan mein kaha gaya hai ragukul uh, ragukul reet sada chali aayi pran jaye par vachan na jaye right so that's commitment संकल्पों की सिद्धि दैट वर्क इन ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप दैट्स वॉट यू इज टॉकिंग अबाउट यू मेक अ कमिटमेंट यू मीट इट यू मेक अ कमिटमेंट यू मीट इट यू मेक अ कमिटमेंट यू मीट इट एंड देन यू बिल्ड ट्रस्ट सो ट्रस्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू गाइज मस्ट नो दैट सेकेंड इज ऑफकोर्स बींग विद दस्टमर ऑलवेज कम्युनिकेटिंग वॉट यू आर एंड कंटिन्यूअसली टॉकिंग टू दैम एंड रिएटरेटिंग वॉट योर वैल्यूज वॉट यू स्टैंड फॉर एंड वॉट यू या कृष्णा uh earlier the professor was talking about three important aspects about how to grow and how to uh, create a sustainable company one is finding a niche second is uh earning the customers money 
and third was something else but these two are the main things that i would want to focus on because we are a customer business uh we're a service and an experience based business so finding a niche was very important in us being able to scale because we were the first of our kind and we were able to then demand or not demand but tell the customers why we are charging what we are charging we are a premium service we are a premium brand but we are premium because our experience is premium you can get a service for a haircut or a shave at any location or in any mom and pop shop uh, or in a, other salons as well but we offer a experience so a signature service for us is a 45 minute royal shave which is unheard of or not available anywhere else uh, so that was a very big niche that we found which helped us to cement our place in the grooming industry and second was earn the customers money um i think anyone can offer a service once or twice but consistently doing it the same service and the same experience every single day with every single location especially when we're spread out over 15 cities uh, over 30 locations we have over 200 staff on payroll so training each one of them to do the same service every day the same way was very difficult and challenging and once we achieved that we focused on other things so i think these were the two main aspects to help us cement ourselves and to help grow thereafter a uh, wonderful so we were talking backstage and uh, uh, these guys have actually uh, uh, done the manuals for franchising done the uh, detailing you know all processes all systems so it's it's real hard work which has gone in uh, uh, you know at the at the back end to become what they have become uh, right now so what essentially the uh, cracking the code for success here is uh, finding that niche for yourself i mean what what problem you are solving and how and how you are addressing that so finding a uh, problem which is very very niche which you can uh, you know uh, slice it to the and you know uh, where, what your customer is and then offering something which is very very excellent to the customer right so aapne shayad usko 3 idiot bahut dekhi hai excellence ke piche bhago to kamyabi aapke piche bhagegi right <laughs> so uh, i think uh, that's two take away from him and uh, i would love to hear uh, All right. So first of all, like I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, you know, difficultly pronouncing his name. So that's why it's Ashay. Ashay. It's Ashay. Not Akshay. Ashay. Yeah, yeah. That's what I didn't say. Akshay. I said Ashay. Like, that is for general people altogether. Like even more <laughs> my Swiggy delivery guys also. <laughs> so let's hear from Ashay now. Yeah. Right. So first of all, like amazing points and views by these guys. It's I could not say anything. new to here because everybody here is an entrepreneur everybody has their journeys everybody has gone through uh, you know difficult times and became successful and what they are saying is amazing like to the point things uh, but i what i can say about is i can correlate to my journey and my team and my company we started with 99 rupees we have not invested a single rupee in my company after 99 rupees we are a million dollar business uh every year we are a positive roi and uh, i think the three main uh, important part of this was first of all is finding niche business and you know growing that that is there but uh, because it can grow and all so i think the best thing was you have to make sure that you are honest to your users you have to give them what they are asking for and you have to understand where the pain point is for us the users are engineering students college students we know they they cannot pay more they they have this like monthly ghar se kharcha aata hai ki itna hi paisa milega and we have to make sure that we are able to give them everything that they need from that budget itself the second important thing was our team uh i am pretty sure for these people and everybody out here hiring is the biggest challenge in your life and hiring correct people in your team i don't think there is something that is more difficult than that and it is for us also so hiring has been a challenge and we wanted to make sure that everybody that we hire has the same passion towards the work that we are doing it's not about hard work hard work everybody can do a guy who is building a house outside right now he'll he'll do more hard work than any one of us sitting here 
but he will not have that passion for the thing because he's just building a wall he does not care about it you have to have that passion towards ki yes i want to build this you have to have that love towards your product and i think for us passion i think bhavik also asked me outside how did passion come to you so passion i think came to us when we uh, got the love from the user we hear hundreds of users coming to us ki thank you sir thank you very much you got us the first job so you have to hit that you have to hit those milestones in their life it can be anything for milestone is first job everybody till they die will remember that i got my first job from these people so you need to hit that you need to hit that one point where that is life changing point for them and it can be anything so for us it was the first job and uh, yeah so i think user love the team and uh, the passion and the niche is always there you have to understand that's the basic thing i think yeah wonderful so uh, this discussion was missing passion actually because uh, you can't go anywhere uh, uh, you can start and uh, walk few distance but you can't go all the way if you don't have passion right so uh, just to uh, fill you in uh, uh, Ashay is uh, and his team build something which is uh, build on customer money. Okay, it's a it's a dream come true for any entrepreneur, uh, any startup uh, that they are able to build a business on customers' money. So we are just talking and we discussed that we we discovered that uh, their first money came from simple PDFs delivering PDFs one ninety nine rupees to customers. Okay, but what made it work was because the first thing he said. cracking the code for success value creation okay you are actually providing real value maybe 10 times maybe intangible value for that 199 rupees you are charging from the customer right so value creation is biggest thing which came from here and that's how they were able to build the business on customer money we are running out of time but we'll quickly very very short you know because success is very good glamorizing funding is very good you know but everything is built on failures right glamorizing failure is also not good okay because then i mean <laughs> i dread that people start uh, you know aiming for failure so no one should glamorize failure but failure is the stepping stone of success it's part of success right failure is a feedback there's nothing called failure failure is a wrong word to use so uh, any any uh, failure and how you overcome quickly uh, in about 30 seconds sure so uh, for us i think uh, we did a one major pivot in the journey so we started with a business model which was inventory led in nature and we were trying to address uh, the requirements of big and small restaurants with that uh, but we really missed uh, the the crisp of the solution which was uh, you know credit is a big problem it, it's very very difficult to actually recover money from a business running business especially food which is very very cash heavy uh, so so the 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 fact that we ignored that uh, led to a problem where we were not able to scale our business anymore we we hit a million dollar mark in sales and that's it right uh, so that led to a revival a rethinking a rejigging of the business model and we came up with a a uh, saas model where we started learning about how people are actually uh, procuring and that database we created so so, so this, how how did you overcome those failure moments as a team as yourself that's that's the question yeah so so for us that change happened uh, again uh, you know as as a team for us it was always going back to the customer as i said it it goes back to the tenet of that uh so when we went back to the customer we realized that the process itself is completely offline uh, there was existing customer who raised their hand and said ki hey uh, so they saw our admin dashboard which we used to manage uh, for managing a listing on on our platform when they saw that they said hey we uh, we can actually use that right uh, and this is a brand based out of noida one of the most famous rolls brand uh, it's called rolls king and uh, they called us up and said ki i will start using it and that's how it started right Uh, and our tech team and our CTO was kind enough to quickly change it. So you yeah, find so, that. Yeah. So 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 before this feedback came, आप लोगों ने सोचा नहीं कि यार ये तो काम नहीं कर रहा है कैसे करेंगे आगे? ये तो हमने दोनों parallel ही करा ना. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Anyone of like to comment on how you manage failure? 
Sure, I, I can share one experience, uh, which is that uh, a quote by our Kunal uh, that we should become a good knife before becoming a Swiss knife. So in Vamaship, which is our uh, logistics technology platform, we were ambitious to want to do air, ocean, surface logistics all at once. So we were building our Uber for trucks with hundreds of truckers using our, our spot marketplace, ocean freight marketplace, e-commerce logistics aggregation. And each vertical has a very large depth. Uh, to be able to first master one scaled sub-segment and then be able to move beyond to other uh, divisions is, is uh, what would be what is our very very big learning uh, otherwise we're we're a master of uh, sorry jack of all and and uh, don't get to the point of mastering all so uh, it's very important for us to institutionalize processes scale one first focus till then and thereafter move to the thing all at once despite the temptation yeah so uh, we have run out of, out of time uh, do we have some time aditya Couple of minutes. No, no. Yeah. So, so because something good is coming out of this, for example, doing too, too many things, right? So you must not be doing too many things. You must master one first and then uh, go ahead. So quickly we'll have two minutes and uh, then we'll wrap it up. Uh, so wonderful. Krishna. Uh, so we also sub franchise in our business. Uh, we had one good sub franchisee, the first one. Second one was not very good. That was a failure for us because we jumped into it looking at easy money. Uh, it was a bad experience, bad location, bad franchisee, dilution of the brand. Um, we eventually shut it down. But what we learned from that is do a thorough research. Don't go for easy money. Whatever is too good to be true is never true. And strengthen your legal processes and your legal documents so that you focus on quality and is your brand IP is covered at the end of the day. So I think you know, the Dulanya ne dekhi thi. Rasta ab do raste milenge. Ek asan hoga, ek mushkil hoga. Asan pe bhot safalta hai milengi. You know. So anyway, the point which is coming out from here is don't fall for easy way out. Okay. Do what is right. Do what is important and do what is absolutely correct. I yeah. So I think for us, uh, the failures came from very simple, like they said, doing the things that you have not researched well for, uh, email campaigns, offline marketing, uh, banners, you would have seen, I'm pretty sure everybody would have seen those uh, fit G and Bunsen classes, posters and all those things. So those did not work well for us. We started very quickly. We realized within a week that this is not something that is going to do in da damage or impact on the users and we closed it off. So I think, uh, the basic need is, uh, the basic thing is understand where your user is, understand where you, your user is spending your time, uh, spending their time. And I think you should target that place for all marketing, simple as that. Great. So very, very effective marketing, right? That is the key. So to avoid failures, do very, very effective marketing. I think a lot of takeaways. I would have loved to sum it up and then take questions from audience, but we have run out of time. Thank you very much. You are mavericks in your own ways and wish uh, you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. First, Thank you to you. And awesome movie references. <laughs> so many of them. <laughs> Let, life is all about having fun. So let's have fun and keep on building what we are building. <laughs>